Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to show you how to go from making a round punched hole in the end of your ladle handles and turning it into a nice slot punched hole. Now th this is not an actual slot punch that it, this is done. We've done this by drifting and then turning it into a nice oval hole. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so the first step in this process, we're going to go ahead and punch this hole here. You can come down however far you want from the top. I recommend about double the thickness of whatever your punch is or the side walls are going to be of your overall finished hole. We're going to punch it straight down to the anvil. This is a simple punching operation. Then we're going to back drive out this plug. Go over the Pritchell. that out the rest of the way square that up so there again let your tools fall don't grab them you need to focus on your work here so there again we've got this whole punch now so that's one heat this is fairly thin material we are working with see if I can zoom you all in we are working with some 3 16 flat bar by 3 quarter inch or 20 mil by whatever smaller than six mil. Uh, you can work with six mil. Again, that's irrelevant. The point of this demonstration is to show how to make a nice oval shaped hole uh, for your ladle handles. So we'll get another heat on this and we will start drifting this out. Unlike, uh, you know, we don't really need another drift for this operation. You don't need any specialty tools. Just take the punch that you punched with this happens to be a quarter inch round punch that's tapered ever so. We're going to use it, the upper portion of the punch, as its own drift. So that'll work out really well. One tool, one hammer, no big deal at all. So I'll be right back with this as soon as this is hot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drift this. Again, quarter inch drift, give it a couple good taps. Flip it over and give it a couple good taps right through the back side to straighten out any buckling you had. Put these hammers down. Go ahead and clean up any weird pockets you had. And that leaves us ready for our next stage. Next stage, we'll heat this up and we're going to go to this bick here and we're going to hammer off the corners here and here and start working this out into a round. Now, for those that are pretty astute of you, you'll start to understand this is very, very similar to the same operation that you have to do uh, for bottle openers. So this is very, very similar, basically the same process, but we're gonna turn this into a slot here in just a second. Okay, so we wanna aim back towards ourselves and knock the corner straight back. You want to switch it around, again, aim that corner straight back, and then go ahead and start working out your round a little bit. Now it's going to take a couple heats because it's small material, so you're going to want to make sure that you round that up as you go, never hitting in the same place twice. And trying to get this again lined up nice and central just like so you want that to be nice and lined up nice and central now that we have that done now we'll heat it up and we'll turn it into an oval all right so this operation is pretty simple we're just going to turn this up on end and we're going to hit lightly on one edge hit lightly on the other until we get our oval shape. Now you want to take and make sure that the top end stays as wide as the bottom end. You got to be careful where you hit it because if you hit it too much out at the, say out at the top of the handle or work your hammer blows this way, you'll get a pinch. You'll get a pinch. It'll start pointing at the top. And, you know, start wanting to taper. So you don't want to do that. Get this all cleaned up few taps get in the right spot we're just doing really light taps right now just to break the scale off 
And then we're gonna give our quick brushing, just so you can see how that looks. But that's how you make the oval hole in the end of a ladle handle. Now, say you wanted to make this teardrop. Say you wanted to make this teardrop instead. I would suggest really drifting out this really large, like a lot larger than what you need, intended wise, and then focus all your hammer blows right here at the edge of this hole. Now it might be helpful to switch to a hammer that has a radius part so you can try to pinch the material right in here down a little more as you go. But basically it's the same thing if you want a teardrop handle instead of an oval. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. Remember to comment and tell me what you thought. Also, check out some of the other videos on the channel if you get a chance. We upload every single day, seven days a week, and there's always some great information out there to help you as a blacksmith. If you would like to take and support this channel and you like what we do, please consider checking out, uh, once again, our website at blacksmithpdfs.com. The link for that will be in the description down below. Uh, it's a great way of supporting the channel, uh, picking yourself up some Power Hammer plans or some e-courses. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one.